What's up, heathens? Um, so I'm about to go into work, but I really wanted to respond to this video, and I think that you'll see why. You know, you got all these people who believe in evolution. They don't believe in God. They believe everything evolved to, to what it is today. You know, all the animals, humans, trees, I mean, everything. All right, so first off, uh, there are theistic evolutionists out there. Well, people that accept evolution. I hate the word evolutionist, but there, there are definitely people out there that accept evolution for the fact that it is, and they believe in God. So it's not that if you believe in evolution, then you don't believe in God. That's a really stupid thing to say, and it just shows that this guy doesn't understand a fucking lick about evolution or science or any kind of this bullshit, but he's about to demonstrate that here in a second. So I got a dryer in my house that I do, I use for laundry, dry my clothes. It's about 30 years old. So you're telling me if it sits there for 10,000 years, nobody touches it or nothing, that it's just gonna evolve to just, it's gonna start folding my clothes for me when it's done drying. No, that's how stupid it sounds. So first up, the problem is, is that evolution doesn't operate like on a single organism. It's, he's not even talking about an organism. He's talking about an inanimate object. But uh, evolution describes what happens with, with an organism, like a population of organisms over a long period of time. So it's operating on multiple individuals over, uh, you know, billions of years. And you see changes. That's all that evolution is. It's a change in a group of organisms over time. So you would not see it in like a single member happening within that member's quote-unquote lifetime. The second misunderstanding here, this guy seems to think that inanimate objects go through evolution. And I mean, there is a kind of change whenever you have metal that's exposed to air, it oxidizes. So there is change, but it's not like it's going to change into some kind of sentient being that's going to fold your fucking clothes, right? That's just not how that shit fucking works, okay, dumbass? But also, on a creationist mindset, you, the creationist, would not be able to actually describe to me what distinguishes designed objects from undesigned objects because everything in your worldview is a designed object. So that's why this guy thinks that evolution applies to a fucking dry, like a dryer or washer or something like that is because he just doesn't fucking understand science in the least bit or what evolution even seeks to describe because evolution only applies to organic things that are naturally quote unquote designed or they occur naturally in the world and they naturally change, not something that's designed by humans. You know, this dipshit kind of seems like the kind of motherfucker that would just dance in his warehouse garage while drinking bush light. Uh, you can walk Fucking spot on. All right, y'all have a great day. Uh, don't forget to stand up, use your voice and all that kind of good shit. Bye, everybody.